So I just wanted to talk briefly about how we actually compute the estimated regression coefficients and really the best way of doing that. That may surprise you since we actually went through all the trouble of manually computing the estimated regression coefficients in R using matrix algebra and that was informative I hope but in fact that is not really the best way of computing beta hat. Uh, a, numerical a numerical scientist or someone who was a uh, computational scientist is going to say that that approach is very slow it's not very accurate. So if you've had a course on numerical analysis you know that some algorithms are faster than others, some algorithms are more precise than others, and using this formula directly is actually not very fast and it's not very accurate. So the approach that's actually used by most statistical software for computing the estimated regression coefficients involves using the QRD composition. And we're not going to go to the details of that, but essentially it's a way of dividing up a matrix, of decomposing a matrix. And it's very fast and efficient way of doing this. And if you use the QRD composition approach to computing the estimated regression coefficients, then you get very, very fast and stable results. And this is actually the approach that the LM function uses internally. So even though you might have assumed that this was programmed up in the LM function somewhere. In fact, it's something involving the QRD composition. And you might not think this is a very big deal uh, because of the examples that we've done, the, uh, the manual approach here using the regular linear algebra has matched exactly what the LM function produces. But if you have sort of ill-conditioned matrices, so situations where the X matrix behaves in a certain way, then in fact, using this approach uh, will, will cause errors. So essentially, if you try to invert the matrices and, or multiply them together, you start getting errors, and R is not able to do it like it's supposed to. Whereas the LM function, which is based on the QR decomposition, is much more stable, it's faster, it's efficient, and so you're actually able to still estimate the regression coefficients in that particular setting. And so in one of the homework problems, actually, what you'll do is, for a sequence of polynomials, you'll try to use this direct formula for computing the estimated regression coefficients and you'll see how long it takes for it to break down, but then if you use the LM function, then you can still estimate the regression coefficients with no problem. So even though this is not something that we have to worry about on a regular basis, uh, it's a good idea to know that the way that this is actually computed involves the QRD composition instead of the actual matrix algebra that we see when we're deriving the results.